Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm the Hooded Lid and today I'm going to do a Will I Buy It? Because finally there's some stuff coming out, but I, you know, spoiler alert, if you don't want to listen to my voice for the next 15 minutes or so, there's not very much here that I actually want to buy. And you could skip the whole thing. But if you like to hear the voice, if you are, here's something I oftentimes do, I'll put on a long video when I'm doing a facial massage in the morning, just so it's like, oh, here's a 20-minute video, I'll just do this until the video's done. Maybe that. Let's get started. Herman Decay has a new, I feel like a newscaster because I have my notes right here. Herman Decay has a new Naked palette. This one is called the Wild Wild West, and it is mainly brown with a couple of greens and one gray. At your own risk. I really feel like I should do this like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Um, but I haven't prepared for that. Let me know if you want to see me do this as comedy. But what I just said, it's a bunch of browns. If you're new to makeup and you don't have a general brown palette, maybe this is the way to go. If you like those two blues, maybe it's the way to go. The gray is very pretty, but I'm not going to buy a palette for three shades. I just, I just can't. And Urban Decay hasn't excited me in a long time, and I'm not afraid to tell you my truth. If they didn't call it Wild Wild West, I might be more interested. Like, what? Jaclyn Hill has a new release. I really don't know what it is, because all I saw were these boxes with question marks. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like so many people should hire me for marketing because they're really missing the mark. Jaclyn Hill has not exactly imbued confidence upon the consumer public. So why would she do mystery stuff is kind of beyond me. Or maybe it's not a mystery stuff. Maybe it was a tease. It wasn't good as a tease either. And she's coming to Ulta. But I'm not interested. I'm really not. We'll see what it is when it is. But I would assume it's going to be a highlighter. And her highlighters are just not my thing. They're way, way, way too strong. So, no. The new Marc Jacobs foundation and concealer in one. I've never seen this done well because the skin under here is so delicate for me and dry and aged. What goes here and what goes here generally when they, when they formulate it to be both doesn't work. I oftentimes will put my foundation under there and I'll be like, you know what, <laughs> I think I'm done. I, I don't need to fuss around anymore. But the container is really small. The container is more like the size of a concealer than a foundation. I did, however, in the name of science, go online and try to figure it out. I considered buying it, but I couldn't get a shade match anywhere. I do believe that this line runs pretty warm, pretty yellow. So that's a no. Then they have the Omega Times 3, which is bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And honestly, they just don't look very interesting. Now, I've tried the bronzer before, and I found, for me, it was far too yellow. It kind of looked like baby poop. And the dark one had a prettier blush, for me, than the lighter one. And it's just meh. It's not exciting me. I love the packaging though. I used to have, and I think I might have finally thrown it away because over the years it, it kind of fell apart, but I used to have a brush and mirror set that was real. <laughs> it was vintage, it was old, it was antique, that had that was made kind of like that packaging. I don't know what it was actually, and it could have been Bakelite for all I know, but it was so beautiful. And so it kind of reminded me of that. I, I like the packaging, but we don't put the packaging on our face, so that's a no. There is another new line at Sephora called Merit, and when I was doing my little thing where I picked up the Kosas and I picked up the Say, I looked at the Merit and I thought, huh, this looks small. It looks, I don't want like a teeny little applicator when I'm doing a stick because you have to put a lot on, especially if you need coverage, which I do. If you don't need coverage, I guess it's fine. But I also felt like it might be very expensive. And so I took a look at how much product there is and I broke it down and I compared it to the Westman Atelier. And uh, hold the phone. 
guess which one's more expensive? I don't have my glasses, you guys, so I'm squinting here. The Merit is 3.7 grams for $38. Now, most of us just look at the money. $38, that's reasonable. Okay. But we don't look at the grams. The Westman Atelier is 9 grams for $68. So, the Westman Atelier is $7 dollars and fifty cents per gram and the merit is ten dollars and twenty seven cents a gram and Westman Atelier is actually you know a makeup artist I can trust her. Catherine Power is the co-founder of Who What Where which is a blog it's very different than it used to be. I used to actually go to that blog but I you know not for very long it just didn't resonate with me and now she has Versed. Versed is her line. It's at Target. And then she had something else. I think she has a wine company. And I can't remember. There was something else that is also Target related. So she's really managed to build a big business. And I say, good for you. But she's not an expert in makeup. She's not a makeup artist. When we have a makeup artist doing a line, it kind of calls for a higher price. It's a little more acceptable. Well, this is so expensive. Yeah, but you know what? It's a makeup artist. With her, it's like, well, this is kind of expensive. Well, yeah, but you know what? Um, it's a person who started their own company. And I don't know. I just don't feel that there's any reason for it to be this expensive. I, you, you're going to have to tell me. It is clean, but so is Gucci's. And the packaging is really beautiful. In fact, the packaging looks like it was inspired by Gucci's. It's very, very similar. The lettering is gold and the color is like a gray, a gray brown color or an ashy gray brown color. But I just, I don't know. I kind of resent that. I kind of resent that. It's like, hi, this is reasonable at 38. Oh, did we tell you how much is in it? Not very much. Give us your money. I don't like it. So I'm not interested in anything from this brand. Certainly not now. I will wait to see if other people really rave for it um, or really butcher it and, and then we'll decide. But right off the top, it's pretty amazing that a brand new brand is opening at Sephora. You know what I mean? Fenty did, but Fenty's got a huge name behind it. Gucci didn't even open at Sephora. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm not interested. That's the bottom line. Is it Artiste Couture or Artist Couture? They are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called Ethereal Bloom. And it is a no. <laughs> it looks like it's like, okay, blue in a shimmer or metallic and blue in a matte. Pink in a shimmer metallic, pink in a matte. It honestly doesn't look well thought out at all. It looks like one of those slapdash really fast kind of things. Because when I think of blooms, I think of more than one color. If you think about it, and I used to garden a lot. I still do garden. When you think about the petal of a rose, the petal of a delphinium, the petal of an orchid, it's not just one color. You know, you can even look at very few flowers are one color. Even a jasmine, if you look closely, you will see pink veining. And when you look at roses, you might see three or four colors, like the apricot towards the edge, and then it melds a little bit to an apricotty pink color, and then towards the center it is a yellow color. So I love the idea of bloom, but I don't think that they have given us the colors that give us flowers. So yeah, this is not interesting to me at all. By Beauty has a new product. It's an eyeliner. They say that it is long wear and exact and, you know, everything that you need. It's called Upswing Extreme Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. Thanks for Upswing. So I guess it's quite exact. It's long wear. It's very, very black. But I don't do liquid liners very often. So for me, no. But I love this marketing. Look at the passion fruit. Those are so darn beautiful. And look how many colors there are in that. Okay, 
ColourPop I never talk about here, and I don't have very much ColourPop, but who does not like Bambi? I'll wait. If you don't like Bambi, I don't know. I think you should see a cardiologist because it's possible you don't have a heart. Although I loved Thumper. Oh my god. And the skunk. I can't remember who the skunk was. It doesn't matter. ColourPop is doing a Bambi collection and it's three palettes. One I think is Thumper, one is Bambi, and one I can't remember the other one. There's lip uh, glosses. I'm not interested at all. But I have to say, one of these color stories, the Thumper story, is kind of interesting to me. And I love this chick yellow situation they have going on with the marketing bit. I wish there was some yellow in their palettes. I might, and let me know, if you are interested in seeing, I might get Thumper. Because who does not love Bambi or Thumper or that skunk? Oh, so cute. Dior Backstage is coming out with face and body powder in 10 shades. Not only can these be used for finishing powder, but you can also use them for bronzer and highlighter. That was my newscaster thing. What do you think? Um, maybe. I'd like to see a little bit more about it. Because if you can also use it as a highlighter, there must be a lot of sheen going on. And you can use it as a bronzer. Of course, you can get it in a, you know, a color intended for finishing darker skin and use that as a bronzer. I, I see what they're saying. I'd like to know a little bit more, but maybe. Becca has a new palette called the Sunsetter, and I believe it's only available at Nordstrom's. And I have to say, I think these colors are very pretty when I just see all, you know, the pigments laid down next to each other and then the color of the package. This is my milieu. I like this. However, the bronzer looks pretty dark. The blush looks pretty light. Like if it's for someone who's medium skinned, shouldn't the, I'm looking at a bird in the backyard, and wow, it's really pretty. Hmm. And, oh, a couple of birds. And um, I would think if you're going that dark, then the blush should be deeper. But this is face and eye, so I'm thinking it's a bronzer, a blush, and two eyeshadows. I'm not really sure, because Becca's kind of known for their highlighters, so wouldn't it also be a highlighter? It's a little confusing to me. I love the look of it, but what I just said, bronzer's too dark, blush isn't dark enough, so probably not, but it's super pretty. Also coming to Sephora is makeup artist Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks is somebody who I don't know anything about, but I have bought many of her products. Well, not many, but some of her products. Because up until now, she's been available on her own site and at Beautylish, and I think a pro site. I can't remember the name. And that's kind of exciting for her. So that's going to broaden up everything for Danessa Myricks. And I would say that her makeup is really for the professional artist unless you are willing to play and make mistakes. Like I did when I did my Danessa Myricks video. When I looked at it recently, I thought, wow, I really didn't blend out like this side of my face, which, to be fair, my lighting on this side isn't so good, so I can understand how that happened. I didn't realize it until I was editing it. It's, it's a product that you have to play with and you have to spend some time with. The benefits, the payoffs, I think are worth it, but they're not something that are fast and easy. But I do like many of the products. But I do think it's more ideal for a professional makeup artist. Tatcha has a new powder out and maybe. I'm hoping that they'll do those, you know, 100 points for a little sample because, you know, I'm kind of getting a little over the powder situation. I I'm not a big powder person. I have a powder that I love and use often, and when I try other powders, I end up kind of returning them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And Tower 28 is coming out with some more of their blush, which is like a lip blush situation. There's three more colors. I have Magic Hour, and to tell you the truth, you guys, I just don't like it. It's too emollient for me. It doesn't have an elegant feeling to it. Now, what's great about Tower 28 is nothing is over $28. So it's not high-end. But at the same time, I think these Fenties are probably around the same price. And I like this better. This is not as emollient. It's more dimethicone-based. And it's easier to work with. 
you can actually put it on and then just go back and forth like this without fear of it picking up or moving your base where with the tower if I I feel like you have to pat it if you went like this it could be a disaster I just there's so many other great this one the air matte from NARS the Shiseido product that nobody ever talks about but I brought it downstairs because you know I haven't used it in a long time this adorable little pink almost bean from Rare Beauty much much better it doesn't have that tacky feeling to it so when you swirl it around or if you go like this to it it kind of picks up you know like stiff peaks when you're doing egg whites I just I don't care for it and the colors are super warm so there's one berry and the other ones are warm and the golden hour is warm I think this line as a whole so far from what I've seen in the color area runs really warm color on the face area you know whatever and you guys that is it will I buy it pretty much no but uh, you know I bought some other stuff and who knows, maybe all of a sudden there'll be a bunch of new wonderful things that we cannot wait to see. In fact, I'm not probably going to post this immediately after I shoot it, so by the time it airs, there could be a bunch of things that I want to get. And that's it for me today, you guys. I hope that was helpful and informative and keeping you up to date on what to look forward to and, and what is not really worth looking forward to. Until we meet again, please be safe, be smart, I'm wishing you good health.